<laughs> well, uh, look, with, with the last name of Bacon, uh, Bacon's Rebellion uh, was a natural to, to name uh, my, the newsletter. Uh, is it started out as a newsletter and then became a blog. And the original Bacon's Rebellion, the real Bacon's Rebellion, was started in 1676 by a gay, guy named Nathaniel Bacon, to whom I am no relation, as far as I know. Uh, but there were a fair number of Bacons running around in the English-speaking world at that time, Sir Francis Bacon and, uh, and so on. But uh, it, it was uh, Bacon, uh, Nathaniel Bacon lived on the uh, American frontier at that time, which was Henrico County. And um, uh, the country, or the colony is still rel relatively new. Uh, the system of slavery had not been really formalized. Uh, Africans were brought over and sold as slaves, and um, their indentured servants came over, and it's not clear really what happened with the Africans, but at some point a lot of them be kind of became quasi-free. Anyway, uh, so there were these a lot of landless, poor landless people, and they kind of came to the, to the frontier, and, there they, and, and on the frontier they came in conflict with the Indians who were still here. And uh, uh, Nathaniel Bacon kind of took up their cause. And they began mixing it up with the Indians and kind of raids and counter raids and stuff like that. It was all not very well organized and it was kind of, the impression I get it was pretty militarily incompetent, but uh, it, uh, it did occur, well there was a conflict, but the governor, Governor Berkeley, he had these deals going on with some Indian tribes. They were like fur trading deals or whatever. I'm not sure exactly what they were. And, and then there was just the old thing of government and he would like put his cronies into positions of power. Uh, back then offices were often associated with remuneration. They had like sources of revenue attached to them. So he put all his buddies in all the positions that kind of like earned, you know, earned, earned money and uh, created wealth. and. Uh, and so anyway, so at some point then Bacon and his, and, and his kind of rabble marched on Jamestown and uh, Berkeley fled to the Eastern shore and uh, they burned down Jamestown. Somewhere along the line, they wrote a document, published a document called the Rights of Englishmen or Declaration of the Rights of Englishmen. Something like that was kind of like a, a proto liberty kind of a document, uh, but it was not universal. And that was really interesting. We talk about universal principles that were established during the American Revolution, where rights of man were considered universal. These are the rights of Englishmen, kind of going back to the Magna Carta. These are rights that Englishmen had fought for and won and in their status as Englishmen. Anyway, so it was very interesting from that point of view. Unfortunately, uh, Nathaniel Bacon died of dysentery in the swamp somewhere, and the, and the whole revolution just, or the rebellion just kind of collapsed. But, he was very much a uh, figure that was against the established order, and uh, I feel I feel kind of feel fill the same role, journalistically speaking. I don't believe in burning down Richmond. I think it's a nice town. I don't want to burn it down. But I say figuratively, uh, metaphorically, uh, I think that maybe we could burn a few of our kind of more uh, corrupt and decaying and antiquated in institutions down. So uh, I, I feel like I live in the same spirit as, as Nathaniel Bacon.